What's the difference between an eel and a unicorn? Well, if you look closely, there's actually quite a few key differences. One of the main ones being the fact that eels just aren't real. Welcome back to Cave Colonization episode 56. And today, I've got a real doozy of an episode for you. Actually, I hope I don't. I don't really want to have to edit that. In between episodes, I have added more grass and I fixed the sign. So I mined the way this a little bit more so you can see it. I still need to like make that pretty. There's also copper up there. I think that's copper. The other thing I did, I guess, was I, I made it double-sided. So now it doesn't say, three at it says eat on both sides. I extended this path a little bit more so we have something down there which we're going to be building today and something over here with Doc Benson which we're going to be building today and I think I'm going to start over here. All right here's the Here's the very awkward point where I say, all right, now we built the pillars, like a billion, as I've done, you know, in the series a billion times. But I mean, how did I not place the third one? We do start with these, you know, like, it's always a good place to start from if you don't know what else you're building. Yeah, once again, I didn't pack discussion questions with me. I suppose, though, since university, I guess college, since I'm in America, I shouldn't be calling it university, even though the, the name of the place has university in it. But college has started up again, so that's you know, fun. And, well, you know, it, it's it's fun. It, it's school, right? School's not fun. Who goes to school to have fun? I certainly don't. So yeah, that's been going, you know, how school goes in, in the early... What am I trying to say here? Well, you know, just when the semester starts, you know how school goes. It's... It's always boring. And this semester has so far has been no different. And boom, we have we have done basically everything we need to do for this one. I'm just kidding. So school aside, we are in this gigantic cavern now. I'm gonna do something with like the mine shaft, which is above us as well. But I'm thinking there probably won't be too many shops in this area. It'll be more like houses. So I'm probably maybe next episode, I'm probably just gonna like come up with a copy pasteable house design and then just copy paste it because so you do when you can copy paste. I'm gonna grab my screenshots up really quickly. Yeah, so copy pasteable house, not too many shops. I'm not sure like how densely populated I want this area to be either. That's not spruce wood, that is polished diorite actually. I can read. I'm not, I'm not yet too sure how densely populated I want it to be. I like like all the water. <laughs> like like. I like all the water and lava. I do want to like keep some of those features and also it's really dark up there. So I have a plan. I'm not going to share too much of it right now but I have a plan and it's probably you know gonna end up not looking like how I imagined but that's okay. You know we're, we're just here to you know have fun or something. Um, I don't know. The question is, which one of these has which, which like build goes to the shulker box? Yeah, so this is just gonna be a generic house, so it's not really gonna be too special. I'm thinking since I like actually like how this house looks, that I may build a couple of these around the place as well. Please, oh my gosh, that's so annoying. Gonna have three birch planks, bruh. That is that's actually so infuriating. All right, we go slab, so it's only gonna be like one high. I was saying something. I miscounted the amount of slabs I would need as well, but you know what? This is actually good because I can use these three extra to make six birch slabs and have the perfect amount. What? That is insane. I love when that happens. Yeah, I like this house design, so I might build a couple of these. We will just have to see. Oh wait, no, I didn't overpack because I forgot the staircase. You know, sometime. I will actually grow a brain and not be stupid. It might actually not happen, so we just have to hope it does. I didn't finish these walls. I don't know, when I do the exterior decoration, I guess I can find out. I'm gonna do the roof really quickly. All right, I'm pretty sure I just finished the roof, so we can start working on the interior, and I think I'm just gonna start like right outside here. So I was saying that I could copy paste these houses. I think I will make a couple of these, but I'm gonna kind of vary them in the sense that uh, this one that I'm building right now, it has a balcony section, which is what I'm building right now. And I don't think all of the ones I do build will have that. Maybe some of them will have like this full covered. Maybe some of them just won't even have like this extra bit and I'll just be like this kind of straight house. So yeah, but these people just have a little like garden thing going on here. They've got some chairs and a table right here and a little rug, outdoor rug. I mean, it's not like it's gonna get rained on, you know, cause there's a 
that there's a ceiling, but I suppose like lots of dust and crap could fall on it. All right, let's go downstairs. And we need one here and one here, one being bases for corner bushes. I haven't put the windows in yet. Maybe I should like do that. I had to like recount the windows three times. So I still might not have enough. And this is going to be a test to see if I can count. And it looks like amazingly I can. I'm not quite sure when I picked up that skill, but it's nice to know that I have it now. Most of this bottom area is a kitchen. So we have this bit and then I need to scroll through my screenshots and actually find the kitchen. So we have a little sink here and a table like this and then a smoker, which amazingly is not going to have chimney coming from it. I don't actually know if I mentioned this, but we are building two things today. So worry not, the other one does have a chimney. So just in case you were not going to get your, oh, I guess, every other weekly. I only took one screenshot of this kitchen and I can't see it properly. It was probably not a good idea. But in case you were worried, you're not going to get your cave colonization chimney fix, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Worry not because you, you will. I think there's a lantern over here. Over here. So... This is the kitchen area, not too much going on, and then a little table over here. There just isn't a lot going on in this house. Um, I probably could put something there, but... Yeah. So upstairs we have the bed, and then we're gonna have this... I saw this, I think... I don't know where I saw this technique. I think Charizard did it. I haven't really used it, but I did for this build apparently, so now I have used it. And then over here we just have a bookshelf, and another table, my scaffold tables. Such a great... You know, you can climb on the table. It's such a great block usage, I guess. I'm so good at English. And we, of course, have another corner bush. Did I put the carpet down? Nope. I did not. Did I miscount the amount of carpet I needed? It looks like I did just miscount the amount of carpet I needed. So that's all right. So I believe that's everything for the interior. And then the only thing we need to do is the exterior, which I'm just going to do. There's like really nothing to it. I mean, I've done like this exact kind of like exterior decoration it's just this i've done this exact like exterior decoration like probably in like on every recent build i just really like it i think it i think it works pretty well there are supposed to be lanterns up there which i cannot reach here we go oh here's one that's different it goes like this there's a trap door on only this side and wow what a gigantic change that was so i'm just gonna finish this up and i'll get back to you when it's done all right Yep, there we go. It's all done. So I think that's this build complete. I didn't have really anything spare except for it looks like one fence. So I might have forgotten to place one of those somewhere. I'm not too bothered about it. So now that this one's done, we can connect the path. And like I said, I'll probably build a couple of those. You can come down on this side over here to our second build of the day. This one is going to be interesting because we've already kind of built one of these before, but you might not remember it because it was episode three. I was just like thinking, what? I could build and like what they would have down here because remember lore wise floor one is actually newer than floor three instead of like how we're building it now where we started on the first floor and we're going down to the last floor that explains like why there's multiple like carpenter the smith you know all that episode three we built a bakery that was like the one voiceover episode i did it's just easier to record videos like this and then edit them that format didn't really catch on and honestly i can't say i'm disappointed pointed about that. I've got a window here because I don't want to strip an unnecessary amount of these. I'm going to chop out the windows before stripping them all. So I was thinking, you know, it would make sense that there would be a bakery or yeah so this is a bakery so it's not necessarily an exact ripoff of the one in episode three because that was a sweet shop and this is going only going to be a bakery but like in minecraft they might as well be the same things they're not really like candy. This has been like a really scuffed discussion or explanation about this because i feel like i keep interrupting the thought i'm trying to say with a new thought every like two seconds it's similar to what we built in episode three and lore wise it would come before what we built in episode three anyway that's that's basically like the long and short of it oh i forgot to do the copper so i did end up stripping too many of these i just realized i didn't start with the pillars oh that's interesting but yeah long being the scuffed description i have been trying to give for the past you gotta be freaking joking me are you like for real with this oh my gosh that is so annoying. Whatever, we have, we're have. we gonna have one there because I didn't pack one single cut copper. That is really annoying. So yeah, that, that's all I can really say about that. That is really, really annoying. I feel like I was saying something, but I don't know what it was. Whatever it was will probably end awkwardly in editing because I am no longer... Wait, I didn't. 
I didn't underpack. I'm just really stupid because remember how I said there was a chimney? It goes right here. So there's a cobblestone, like there's a cobblestone block as part of the chimney that goes here, which means that I have one extra oxidized cut copper, which can go right here. Boom. See, I'm not that stupid. Okay, this one is like a really simple roof, so I'm just gonna like build it really quickly and I'll see you once it's done. All right, that's the roof for this build done now as well. So we can head on inside and get to work. All right, so the furnace goes here, obviously. One of these cobblestone stairs goes right here. The two go right here and they turn inward like this. Then two barrels go here. This spruce stair goes like this. And then there's another one that goes like, yes, another two that go and form a table like so. And on this table, we have the wrong shulker box because I'm an idiot. We have a cake and then we have our item frames showing off a pumpkin pie, which can be rotated like that, I guess. We put the lanterns in. I think one goes there and the other one goes there. I'm not sure. In this corner, we have a corner bush, of course. It's only one high though. We put the door in and then we have another table that comes out like this with an item frame with a cookie in it. So I'm making this munch on one of those, I guess. And then just put the rest in here. So that's about it. There's not really that much room in here. So to make up for it, we're going to add a little shelf up here. Okay, so it should be like this. Oh my gosh, can I brain please? There we go. So now we have a little shelf. So we can put some stuff on the shelf. And we're going to put a barrel, a hay bale, and a flower pot with a jungle sapling in it. I know, not the best decoration, but, you know, they use the hay for cookies. Barrel is extra storage, always nice to have. And the jungle sapling is a reference to the fact that cocoa beans also come from jungle trees. And that is the bakery. Yeah, it's it's quite small, but I, I, do, I do like this. I've been doing a lot of, like, shelves recently. So the last thing to do is work on the outside there which means fighting discord trying to find the right screenshots so this one uses spruce and it has some it's, it, the decoration on this one is actually i'll keep it in because it's kind of oh my goodness what is going on down here i'll keep it in because it's it's more interesting than that house so we'll keep it in it's very similar the sign goes here but i'll do that last on the chimney side we have four spruce fences i think i just got rid of the spruce slabs which i also need the mangrove roots goes up here like that so it's it's kind of similar to the i don't even know where it is i think it's back up there the restaurant also has something it's got a dead bush oh wait what am i doing these just don't just don't go there they go here it also has a dead bush next to its chimney and then hanging from the top one farther in please there we go this decoration there's a little bit more to it than you know the standard fence trapdoor decoration which is what is here so maybe i spoke too soon it just has like these these spruce trapdoors on the side those are not trapdoors those are slabs it has the spruce slabs on the side which makes it look a little bit curious but you know it's not not too weird i hope uh, whatever those go there and then this goes here and we can stack up here and have a corner bush that goes like so and two more slabs i believe that is this building done except for the sign let me just check the shulker box oh we also forgot to do the chimney i guess i forgot to do the chimney since you guys are just watching and i'm building so we don't we've seen this a billion times actually i think this is only like the eighth one i've done but after like the first one you know how it's made so my voice is really not doing too well today so the only thing left to do is put down the sign so this building is just called brillin's bakery exclamation mark established 1737 is it wrong that is a tilde don't need that and i actually managed to like not screw up typing the sign super hard this time so these are our two builds and to wrap things up i'm just gonna say that i'm going to clear some spot and again put down maybe some copy pasteable houses that might have to be smaller than that one because there's you know there's not a ton of room around here once we get close enough to this side i'm going to start working on the mine shaft so if you want to see that happen then make sure you stick around but i'm gonna say thank you for watching this episode and hopefully i will see you in the next one Goodbye.